of my creative friends. Today it's a short video once again, but this one's just to help us be more eco-friendly when we're using resin. This week I got asked, how do you clean your measuring cup from, you, from when you have used resin? And there are many ways to do it, and this is one way I do it. Now please leave your comments in the thingos below so that we can have lots of different ways to be eco-friendly using resin. So add your ideas about anything that will help us keep our plastic use down. Let's get on with it. So I finished using my resin and I used it in a creation that used texture. So I've got little bits of glass and stuff everywhere. But this is how you clean your container to be able to reuse it again and again and again. And it doesn't matter if it's this container, another plastic container or a glass container, though try not to use glass because your resin will heat up during the heating process and you'll get your curing times all skew whiffed. So what I'm doing is removing the excess resin with paper towel, simply paper towel. And I kind of wrap it around my hand like it's a, uh, another part of my glove so that I can just really stick it in and get right in there. And just get to the point where I can sort of turn this inside out and get right back in there. Turning, turning, turning. And if I wanted to, I could stop at this point because what is left is going to merge into the plastic. There's not even enough to make a skin now. And I'll see if I can zoom in to show you what I mean. But I will be doing one more removal. But that's what I'm doing. I'm getting to the point where, see, it's just a little bit cloudy because there's really nothing left in there, just the smudgingness of it. So it's smudged resin. Then get a baby wipe. Oh, we love you, baby wipes. Oh, and pull that out. Get a couple out if you can. And of course, because you're watching me, it's being all unco and weird. And you can put it around your towel so that it's easier to access every part of it. And then just give that a wipe. Honestly, this is good to go. Well, not right now. I would let it absolutely dry or cure, you know, in case there are any little bitsies left. And you certainly don't want the icky sticky bubbles of baby wipes being in your next mix. But that's done. And, um, oh sit this here and put a cross on the top so you really know that one is that one. What have I got? This purple one. Hi. And we'll come back and have a look at that in one day and you'll see that it's a really good way to extend your plastic cup lives. Now that's how I do it. A lot of other people put their stick in and let it cure um, let the resin drizzle down and cure and I do that too if I have more but I had only the tiniest drizzle in there and it would have been touch and go whether or not it would sit at the bottom and break when I pulled the stick out but anyway that's how I do it and if you've got any tips on how you reuse your plastic um, if you're not using the silicon jugs which are super awesome anyhow um, let us know in the comments and let's try and keep our usage down. Happy creating! Ta-da! Here we are back. Hi, 24 hours later. And as you can see, our cup, whilst it has the tiniest little bits of, almost like a cloudy effect, um, absolutely perfect for us to reuse again so that's how I do it and I know there's lots of other ways that people like to clean their cups so that they can use them again and again 
and but it, what I offered you was a great solution if you don't have big silicon jugs I've got bigger ones of these um, and just while we're on the notion of measuring jugs these I get off eBay and I get a pack of 50 for about $35 so it works out to be about you know less than a dollar a cup um, and I love them because they're so good to be able to look through and see what your measurement is um, they're great for students and teaching as you if you don't know I do a lot of teaching but the other ones that I use I'm just reaching for them now uh, plastic cups from you know Kmart or Big W and even if I accidentally let the resin build up here I can still gauge or you know redo a measure here by getting this measuring cup and adding 250 mils and remarking it and etc etc so this one I don't think I could get the bottom out the bottom of the resin out and for some reason can you just see there there that's where my stick that normally would pull it out it just snapped and broke on that occasion but you know these normally the resin just peels out of and these gorgeous great big cups you can see that this one I've done the wiping method how can you tell because there's the tiniest little drip there where a little pearl of it hasn't come away and see how they just pick out so if you do get a little bit of residual they just pick away um, this one is a reuse and I wasn't so careful with my cleaning on this occasion but watch it just peels on out so look there's a bit more where I wasn't so careful on that occasion peels on out do I just want to stand here and say peels on out? How very boring for you. Have we had a look at that one? Yep, these strips are on the outside. So this is nice and clean and ready to go. And you just sort of crunch it like that. And any residual resin. Ugh. Of course, this one's not going to do it now. It just peels on out. So that's how we try and keep ourselves more um, eco-friendly and of course I collect a lot of my leftover little bitsies just because like how gorgeous does that look and I'll eventually use that into some kind of collage resin collage I must show you how I do them they're heaps of fun all right have a great day oh please put in the comments how you minimize your plastic usage in any art form because it's a really good conversation that we should be talking about more and more. Cheers.